So we just finished solving every diploma in the name of the Father. And I just noticed that this center cluster, and I've seen this before with the PL, all these letters differ by four, going clockwise in fours. It's so beautiful. An H is an eight, goes up four to, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm looking at the, um, oh yeah. An H is eight, goes up four to a um, 12, goes up four to a 16, goes up four to a T. So it's a gorgeous, uh, perfect spaced balancing so that TH equals PL, okay? Um, and uh, just absolutely stunning. So we solved Diploma in the Name of the Father. And then uh, I had a couple other words to me, come to me while I was offloading the memory chip, and that is font, okay? And a monotype font is father, and font face is father. So the word font, I mean, letters are huge. Words are king. Um, um, God, the living word, Jesus Christ, the word of God, it's the king. So font is father, okay? And you choose a good font, okay? Um, so font is plus one to father. In fact, it equals 55, which is actually exactly three points less than father. Um, and I would pay, I would compare the NT to the TH, differ by six, and F and O both divide by three, you with the rest, okay? But this gets really cool when you get um, more accurate and you call it the font face, because now when you have font face, what you have achieved is a grand perfect total of three plus twos, a single plus one, um, and the rest of the letters all divide by three, just like in father, okay, flawless. And then of course, and very stunning too, the A is the A, and then the um, NTE is very similar to the THE, differs by six exactly, so font face is father plus 12. Um, and now a monotype font, this is one that really came to me because it's nice to work in a monotype font because then when you get, you know, the letters lined up like we just did with the diploma, it's satisfying. It's perfect. Um, it reminds you that every, <laughs> all letters are created equal. Um, <laughs> and they are. So you give them equal space and then it all lines up perfectly and then the beauty is maximum. So a monotype font is gorgeous for father. Everything divides mono. Uh, so father gets the last word. By the way, the word fount and fountain our father, okay? Font, a fountain pen, okay? So font, fount, and fountain are all father. He gets the last word. Monotype, threes, threes, monotype, 57, 66, for a grand total of one, two, three, <laughs> okay? And then comes father, the last word, font, okay? Best for last. Monotype, font, father gets the last word, so all together, this is going to be very beautiful. Monotype font is going to be very high for father. In fact, it's father plus 120. <laughs> very king offset of sixes from father. So monotype font in exactly 12 letters is father plus 120. And then I like to just remind you of the number of plus twos versus the number of plus ones. So you can see the beauty. We have five plus twos and we have three plus ones, okay? And so that is identical with what we saw in font face, okay, and father, where the number of plus twos is exactly two higher than the number of plus ones, and the rest letters all divide by three. And amazingly, in font face and monotype font, you get simply a double. You get a pair of them, just like father provides the pair, okay? So, wow, we solved every font, every font face, and every monotype font um, for the glory of the father. Awesome. Okay, so this is so exciting. Uh, we're on a roll here, so we're gonna keep going. Um, by the way, sitting in front of me for food, I have water, honey. I'm not joking. All these things for food are plus one for father. I have honey, plus one father. Water equals honey, and then I have olives plus one. Okay, black olive. Okay. Anyways, let's um, get back to where were we? We were solving. Um, we were on this simple diagram, solving simple. Magnets is a gorgeous set of letters for father. Magnets and magnetics, okay? Because you get three plus twos right here, a slew of plus ones at the front, and then S provides the overall plus one offset. Um, DNA, by the way, the word strand, um, uh, the word strand and DNA are plus one for father. Atom is plus one for father. Um, model plus one, so model of the atom. Beakers, we solved gear plus one, okay. Um, calculator, 
plus one for father. Okay, we've, um, okay, we're, we're just solving famous um, tools and uh, icons and instruments of science. Um, we did the microscope. Ooh, it's not big enough, or maybe it is. I, I love it. If, where did that open? No, not there. Where did that? What is this? Beaker. We solved a stand. We solved a cylinder. <laughs> that was fun solving the Bunsen burner. And flame is on top. Flame is plus one. Uh, father, we solved the Bunsen burner. Um, filter. A filter, yeah. Goes on top. That's a that's a huge gem. What goes on top? Well, filter. Okay, funnel, right? Funnels, plural. Uh, we solved a lot of these big ones. We solved the stirring rod. Um, gloves. Oh, yeah, lab. <laughs> what is the lab coat called again? A smock or something? If you call it a smock, that's a nice... It's a scientific name for lab, or whatever. I, I would, if you call it a smock, that's plus one. Um, man, I got so many windows open. My mouse is struggling. Unless the batteries are going. Smock, oh my goodness. Smock is father plus three. And you can pop off the seat. What else? Um, a gauze mat. Okay, well that was plus one. Any mat. Evaporate any dish, glass. Test tube rack, okay. Oh man, let's solve the test tube rack. That's an easy one because test tube is father, and then rack just adds more threes to the party. So the test tube rack is a gorgeous plus one. Put the in front, father. So the test tube rack equals father plus 120. Um, test tube holder would be a father is test tube divides by three holder is Christ. Thermometer I've solved a million times. Um, Metal tongs, spatula. Okay. Well, we got a few more over there. We're just poking around. We're, we're scooping up a few more gold pieces here. And scale. Man, I want to point out, I want to point out the beauty of the word thermometer. Because I want to show you how patience is necessary. Watch this. I want to show you the beauty of the word thermometer for the father. Okay. This is glaring to me. You have the three plus twos there and the one plus one there, and that is flanked just like this. Okay, so you see what Father is up to in this divine ordinance. Okay, you have the three plus twos with a single plus one just on the edge. Well, Father has done that, like, of course, right on the end. Okay, and then lo and behold, these letters, this divides by three, um, and then R is an R divides by three. Okay, so very glaring. Eh? Father gets the last word. <laughs> look at how father is on the end of the word thermometer. But then, look how he was pointed to at the beginning. I mean, there's your third <laughs> at the end of father. It's like how much more father can you inject into the word thermometer? Like here is the word therm, which parallels father. It's 64, six points higher. But letter for letter, it's got the T H E the R on the end of it's, it's thur on the end of father, and then the M is the plus one, just like it lines up here, differing by 12, no less, which is the king offset for the trinity from father. So, and then it ends in flawless stunningness. You're just like this, the thermometer is like the most father-glorifying set of letters in the history of the universe. Um, and then, of course, the word temperature, you know, similar, similar deal. Very, very, very obvious. You know, all the E's and A's, in, the offset is plus one. But I wanted to show you that thermometer does not have a plus one offset, but we'll look at the letters and see the obvious. Okay. Um, why not take a chick? Why not? That's 58. That's 18 points higher. Very king offset. Yeah, because this went up 12. This was different by three. That gets offset from the O. And then this was six points offset. So the beginning is six points higher from father. Uh, the ending is 18 points higher than father. You can also just look, focus on the word meter, of course, is three points higher than father. Like, it's just the word thermometer 
is screaming out father like crazy. <laughs> and I marvel at all those words associated like meniscus, mercury, uh, Celsius. One of my favorite is actually the word fair, Fahrenheit because it contains the letters of father. It, it parallels father, but it contains father, F-A-T-H-R, like right at the front and then the back. There's father in Fahrenheit, and then all this just adds another six times six. You're like, king. And then Celsius, same thing, father. Plus one, in fact, Celsius equals 88 equals Walmart, large company. And then Kelvin is the other degree, is flawless for father, because you get three plus two is a single plus one, and two letters that divide by three. So whichever thing you talk about, father has, there's always confirmation with God. You want to talk Fahrenheit? All right, Father. You want to talk Celsius? All right, Father. You want to talk Kelvin? All right, Father. <laughs> that Kelvin equals number. And you can just keep going higher and higher and higher. In the same design, you know, Kelvin equals number, three plus two is a single plus one, two letters divided by three, just like in Father. <laughs> okay, so it's like, clearly Father is really all over this whole temperature uh, business. And the weather and all this fun stuff. So thermometer, we did justice, test tube I've done. A spring scale, oh my gosh, that's really fun. Because uh, scale is father. Spring is a, is a crazy set of plus ones. You almost get this double father. But actually, overall, it parallels uh, Jesus flawlessly with three plus one, single plus two. Uh, but then you put Jesus and father together, father gets the last word, it's gonna be a gorgeous three fest. In fact, I called it before I saw it. E equals one, two, three, perfectly. But the whole idea is that when Jesus and Father get together, it's a Trinity glorifying love fest that makes this beautiful three fest, like you see all the multiples of three just screaming out, but scale, Father gets the last word. Okay. Um, and it's glaring. Like I, I've, I've preached on scale before. Um, I'm curious now about balances. How does that work? I think that divides by three. Yeah, I remember that. Um, we could take a look at that later. But if you want to shoot for symmetry, and I've done this before, I think I've pretty sh the bookends of father equals the bookends of scale, and then these guys are going to get divided by three, um, just like this, and then the th differs from a by three times three times three, so father scale. What else in science lab? Uh, graduate so tuning fork. That's fun. <laughs> tuning fork. The word tuning is father, the word fork is Christ, so put them together. Watch this. It'll be a beautiful three fest. Tuning fork. I already called it. It's 135, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times the third prime, which is love plus love plus half of love. Done. Okay, in this case, Father got the first offset tuning fork. Bunsen burn, we solved. A pulley is a simple mechanism, plus one father. A battery is father. That's a huge word. <laughs> Solve every battery in the name of the father. Pretty glaring. I mean, <laughs> look at this. This is the cluster right there. Like, it's just right there. Like, who owns every battery? And who are we to thank for every battery in this entire universe? Well, Father. Father has the market cornered on battery. <laughs> and then this is, this, these bookends make multiple of three. It's three points higher than this bookends, but I want to point out the slew that's just identical in the center. Three plus two, so there's your A, just like Father, battery. Yep, he's kind of got the market cornered. Um, you can solve everything as a dry cell. If you just, oh yeah, Duracell is a king brand. Duracell is a father brand, and God is sovereign over brands, so uh, Duracell is famous for father. I can't remember what Energizer is by way of comparison. Energizer is plus two, actually more accurately parallels Christ, but Duracell is the king. Really it is. Duracell, father. Um, and then the famous word lithium. I can keep solving more stuff. In. So we solved a battery, a dry cell. I'm curious how a dry cell compares to the word battery. Um, wow, 79 there, 91 there, okay. They differ by 12. I've seen that all over the place. Differences of six between corresponding words. All right, so we solve every battery, we solve our scale, we solve every meter. Um, you know, a scale to weigh, a meter to measure. Um, and then uh, the word volume is, is plus one, but uh, volume. Well, that's where you have the, the pipettes and the uh, burettes and the graduated cylinders. Okay. I think we've we've done a pretty good job in science. We solved most of the major words. Um, yeah, that was cool. Solving eyedropper, I really like that. Colored glass, I've solved before. A lid. Oh, top of the stirring rod was fun to solve. Um, how about eyewear? I just felt like that were just 
I wear in general. Like when you're in the lab, you'll wear goggles, but let's just solve the big term. I wear is father. And again, the number of plus twos outweighs the number of plus ones by two, just like in father. Done. There's an R on the end. I wear, father owns all, I wear. <laughs> and then you can solve all the other names. Um, and then you call them your safety glasses, okay? So glasses is father, safety and safe are both father, okay? Various, in fact, safety equals, oh, it's just gorgeous offset. Safety, safe, okay, your safety glasses, you say. Put on your safety glasses, um, all right, as you should. I'm gonna solve the microscope, beakers, Hermes. Solving all the famous icons, telescope, couples. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh boy. The periodic table. Should we solve the periodic table for the father? Well, it is a table. So period and table are both father. So the periodic table of the elements. I wonder if you can find father in element. Element equals Jesus. Oh, uh, you just need to pop off 16. Can it be done? Maybe it can. I don't, I don't think it can. No, I, I really don't think so. You need to pop off 16 and I don't see it happening. No, you cannot. What if you added an S to the party? Could you come up with something there? Then you would technically have to pop off to, to get to 60, you'd have to pop off 25. Can you pop off 25 from elements? Hmm, let's take a look. Um, let's take a look. There's Jehovah, the dead center of elements. That's very good find. Um, I wonder. You can't pop off. Okay, you'd have to, yeah, so you'd have to pop off 20, what was it, 25? No, 35. An S plus a 16. Oh yeah, I see one way of doing it. In fact, it's a beautiful way. Wow, that just came to me. There it is, folks. So we just found father in the elements and it was not disappointing. So uh, these letters now spell father perfectly in gorgeous hopscotch fashion. Wow. Now remember the word oxygen, breath, and nostrils have equals hopscotch teams. So this is a very famous pattern. So there we found father in the elements. Wow. So element equals Jesus, but find father. And he gets the last letter. Periodic table of the elements. P is plus one. S is plus one for father. Um, that's awesome. Oh, there it is. <laughs> father gets the last word. What is it, folks? I have to write this. The periodic... Table of the elements. Well, who gets the last word? I already did it. E-N-T-S equals father. The periodic table of the Elam 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 father. Father gets the last word, and equals father. There it is. You heard it here first, folks. Father gets the last word. Father created all the elements together with Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. But Father gets the last word. Now you're really curious about this set of letters, E-N-T-S. It's like, wow, the first four letters of the word sentence. And tens. And nets. There's a lot of nets in this world. There's also a lot of sentences that we're studying. Um, there's also a lot of tens. And hundreds. Um... There's also a lot of entertainments and entertainers and entrances and ENTs everywhere. Wow, father. <laughs> and so what does that leave over here? 35, okay, that, but then, then if, well, you, if you waited this long, you got a real gem in science. Um, father takes the last word. Okay, so now, and then, but, and I saw this beautiful father in elements is just riveting. Um, it's so beautiful because you grab the three E's and then like the most obvious thing in the word elements is that you hopscotch these three E's. Well, just keep going child and now you get T on the team. And what's astonishingly beautiful about that is that the letters left over equal father. There's your great 58. The great 58 equals God the Father. 
Okay, created all the elements, <laughs> owns them all, knows where they all are, and is sovereign over all their names. It's his story, and we are swimming in it. Okay, and now you can you're like, well, how does that? How did how did he do that? Why M L M N S? Like, what do we see in these letters? Like, well, first letter just divides by six, just like the first and last last letter of father, and um, N and S equals the thirty three right here. And then, like, this is just disturbing. Like, watch this. I insist on like showing you father in the elements, <laughs> okay, um, and how he owns all this. <laughs> I, I am made of elements, physically, as is everything. Okay, so, um, wonderful. Um, I'm, okay, so I would do this, an L and an F and an R all divide by six, very obvious. In fact, the L is right in between an F and an R, six, 12, 18. And then the most glaring thing of all is that the A differs from an N by 12 points perfectly. And then this is confirmed by the fact that the word the equals NS33. <laughs> so all gorgeous offsets of sixes to make the ultimate equivalence. Okay, so an A differs from M by 12. Okay, so that means father needs an additional 12 to make up. Well, the R and the F make 24, which is the letters that do divide by 3 make up the 12 that goes on top of the 12 to make equivalence. The THE equals the NS, 33. So there you go. And that's father sitting in, in, and that's in order, like the father sitting in the word elements. And so we're solving the periodic table of the elements. And, but the coolest, as if that wasn't cool enough, the coolest thing of all, and this is the word of the Lord. God has been saying to me, Father gets the last word. And if you read the, the red letters of Jesus and you study the red letters of Jesus, you will realize how many times the last word of Jesus is a plus one word to point to Father. Many times the first word, okay? Uh, for example, the word watch. I mean, you can go just, I've already told you how it works, okay? You can go on a party now. Um, but, ends. <laughs> father gets the last word on the periodic table of the elements. So, like I said, the periodic table of the Elm Father. <laughs> there it is. Um, but what's so glaring about this whole cluster bomb is that periodic is plus one Father. Okay, based on the word period, which equals water, which is father. Table is flawless for father. Okay, I am, I am sitting at a table right now. Remember, remember when father pounded the table? That's when you knew the last word was there. Like, when father pounds the table, there's no more arguing. Okay, pound is plus one for father. Table is plus one for father. In fact, that's very glaring. They're both gorgeous, but... Um, okay, so it's already a the periodic table of the elements, and then Father was right on the end. Okay. Um, so we just hit that one out of the park for Father. The periodic table of the elements. Um, and then now you can compare these letters ENTS with Father. Oh man, this is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind at how Father gets the final period on the periodic table of the elements. Are you ready for this one? So, watch this. It's pretty simple. Put Father on top of ENTS. <laughs> well, it's staring you in the face. The E and the S equals the 24 bookends in Father, and that's obvious because they differ by one apiece. An E is one point higher than an F, and then an S is one point... Um, uh, an E is one point higher than an F, and an S is one point um, higher than... An E is one point lower than an F, and an S is one point higher than an R. And then, this NT um, is compared to the TH, differing by 6, but what's so divine about that is that the AE flanking it equals 6. So there's your equivalence right there. Center of father equals the center of ENTS. Bookends equal the same thing, but notice the obvious. Bookends differ by one apiece in opposite directions. A T equals a T, an N equals an A plus an H and an E, and Father is just sitting perfectly, squarely, on top of the letters E N T S, and that is emphatically the last word in the periodic table of the elements. Done. I will pound the table for the Father. Okay, um, and so there's Father gets the last word. Elements. Elements. Now you can just talk about the elements, and you're still giving Father the last word, of course. Now, we've done so much work here, I believe my mouse battery is starting to fade, but we'll see how long this cursor keeps going. Oh, now I get to preach on the word cursor. 
the cursor is on top. I love, see, I wouldn't get to preach on this if it wasn't for this divine ordinance. Watch this. I love the sovereignty of God. Now I get to solve the cursor, which is on top of everything when you use a computer. Remember Father is on top? Well, the cursor is the most important part for you working a computer because you can't see what you're pointing at without the cursor. So here's my cursor, and I believe the battery and the mouse might be starting to die, which is why I get to preach on this now. But the cursor is on top. Cursor is like how you keep your place, the word place, and the word spot. Where, how you keep your place, how you keep your spot. Both plus ones for father, but cursor is a glaring plus one because there's only one letter that is plus one. The rest all divide by three, just like colors. So cursor is awesome for father. In fact, it's an offset of sixes. Good night. Cursor equals father plus 36, six times six. It doesn't get any better than that. Like, that's just glaring. Um, wow. Um, I'm very sure. That's just screaming it out. So father owns the cursor. The cursor is on top. Pretty obvious. R, R, R. I mean, all these letters divide by three. So you don't have anything to deal with. An A and an E is six, and then a U and an R is six times six. And then this, the offset of plus one is yielded in the center. And you can, well, you can compare it with A, multiples of six, C, U, R equals an R. And just have a giant heyday. It's pretty easy. Compare the S with, yeah, we already did that in there. See, another thing you can point out is that an S versus an A is 18 multiples of three, and then this word the, 33, equals this R-O, okay? Add the R, if you add the R up here to team S, there you have equivalence, and then everything else divides by three, and it's all very just embarrassingly awesome. So father owns the cursor. Why is it called a cursor? Well, because it's on top. It's on top. The cursor is what commands the computer to do. Like, you just run around, cursor, cursor is on top, because father is on top. Okay, so the father owns your cursor. Like if I remove the battery from this mouse, and by the way, battery is father. If I remove the battery from this mouse and can no longer move my cursor, I can't, like I feel like I can't do anything. Of course I have hotkeys and all that stuff. And, um, by the way, hotkeys also <laughs> father. You can just solve the full gamut. Hotkeys. Help you get work done faster. Father. Bang. Okay. Um... Oh, speaking of famous last word, the keyboard. Well, what's the last word? Board provides the plus one offset. I wouldn't be surprised if you spent a little time. You can get more glory over that. Okay. So that was awesome. We solved the periodic table of the elements. Um, wow. Now let's state the obvious. Let's, let's solve the front of it now, because I want to hit this one out of the park, because this is one of the, the crown jewels of science, is the periodic table of the elements. And you can solve the people behind it and some of the most famous contributors and get their names and get more glory. But look at what God, Father, has ordained at the beginning. Um, you have the, the um, Piri, yeah, I did spell that. Um, you have the, oh yeah, you have the number of plus twos, the periodic, out does the number of plus ones by exactly two, just like in Father, the periodic table, and then table does the exact same phenomenon. <laughs> that periodic, and then table, number of plus twos, it doesn't, you get the idea, okay? Periodic table of the elements, and you kind of hit that one out of the park. All right, so we solved that. We solved your microscope. <laughs> What's on top of the microscope? The eyepiece. That would be a fun thing to get into, um, is uh, the anatomy of a microscope and just to just to solve what's on top um okay we saw science kits oh like kit is father <laughs> oh my goodness um <laughs> measuring cups ah measuring cups just like beakers I love preaching on pluralization for fathers, so watch this. So you have measuring cups and you have beakers. Measuring cups. You know, in the kitchen, you would probably have measuring cups. Plus one. In fact, it equals worship father. Um, in the lab, you have beakers. Plus one. In fact, it's father plus three. Like, these are just such beautiful offsets for father. So in the kitchen, you have your measuring cups. In the lab, you have your beakers. Notice the EA in both words for father and all the rest of it. Okay. Meekers, funnels, and then, like, check the plural. Like, funnels then makes it plural. 
for father. So always check the plural. Funnels, goggles, what is that? Oh yeah, the um, tubing. Oh yeah, tubing. <laughs> tubing is a flawless word for father. I had an oxygen concentrator. Tubing is flawless for father. The tubing. Um, we solve tweezers. Um, compass. That's pretty good. We solve magnets and stuff. Um, Petri dish was amazing. That was an amazing solve. Petri dish. And so, and we solved tweezers for father, we solved petri dish, we solved the pipette and the eyedropper. <laughs> um, chemicals works. Just like, um, yeah, chemicals equals number. Um, chemicals and beakers. One of these equals numbers. Tubing, oh yeah, chemicals. <laughs> I love some of the kids stuff. Scientists use tools to help them with their learning. <laughs> oh boy. Mix. It's so interesting. Like even it's just the command to mix and combine our plus one for father. Mix, combine. Meld is another plus one. Um, periodic table, the elements. I can't resist a few, let's look at a microscope diagram, because that's one of the, the, the major, I think the eye piece would be on top. Micro equals scope equals father, microscope diagram. And you got tested on this in school, so this will be fun. The eye piece is on top, I knew it. I knew I remembered something, oh my, and then you have the body tube. This is so crazy obvious for father, so what's on top? Well, the eyepiece is on top, so let's solve the eyepiece for the father. We are solving the microscope for the first time in world history, in the name of the father. Okay, so eyepiece is glaring for father. It equals number. It equals father plus the great 15 for the trinity, three times the third prime. And, uh, oh my gosh, look at the beauty of eyepiece. Look at the symmetry. Very similar to what we saw in elements up above. But look at perfect symmetry of the four E's, which are all the plus twos. Okay, that's a beauty. And then the number of plus ones is exactly two less than that, just like in Father. And then you have two letters that divide by three. Wow, this is mind-blowing. See, I'm going to go in detail on the eyepiece, the microscope eyepiece for the father. This is so amazing. Okay, so check this out. One of the coolest things I just saw is that the two letters in blue, they both divide by three in each word. C is three. F is double that, six. I is nine. R is double that, 18. That is glaring. And then the number of plus twos in bold is exactly two greater than the number of plus ones to provide the overall offset of plus one for father. And there it is. Father is on top. <laughs> father wins. Father is on top of everything. God the Father is on top. Okay. He's even on top. He's even above Jesus Christ the Son. Jesus told us that. Okay. Um, Father eyepiece, father on top. Wow. So that equals 20. That differs from that. Amazing. You can easily find father in eyepiece because you just need to pop off 15. Well, an E is 5. So just get rid of three of the E's. The rest equals father. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then I always say, take yourself higher and say it is called the eyepiece. You've added the famous the in father, okay? And then now your offset is a nice even number, very gorgeous. It's father plus 48. Three is future. Let's take a look at the center. 
I mean, we are, in a sense, using a microscope. We are, we are peering in to the center of these words. Oh, man. There it is. We just found pi at the center of eyepiece. And remember how we solved pi? The math, if you haven't watched the previous video, do it. It's already done. We just solved pi for the father. Like, the math uh, value, constant, pi. By the way, the word constant, which is like one of the most important words in all science, say, this is a constant. Constant equals the eyepiece. Glorifies father, where the number of plus twos outdoes the number of plus ones by two, and you have two letters that divide by three. Father owns every constant, created and ordained every constant in science, and um, is the most constant person in the entire universe. Um, okay, so IP, so pi at the dead center of IP. Well, that did not disappoint. Um, and then what else if we flank outwards, just check in the center, we need a threeville, okay. That was very, very awesome. And then um, y and e equals a six, okay. I think I've um, seen enough, okay, let's keep going. What else in the microscope, the eyepiece? And then the body tube also is plus one, so we can get that on the table for father. And it's just the exact same phenomenon. Just, in fact, it's dead identical to, to the eyepiece. Like, this is, this is really confirming, folks. You have four plus twos, two plus ones, and two letters that divide by three. Like, this is, like, ridiculously embarrassing. Um, wow. So, how many letters here? There was, yeah. That, this is mind-blowing, folks. So, eyepiece has eight letters, just like body tube. And it's, they're identical in their design. Four plus twos, two plus ones, two letters that divide by three to point to father. I'm shocked. Like that is just bang, bang. Body tube eyepiece is on top <laughs> of the great microscope. Uh, how many people will become scientists as a result of watching this video? <laughs> Probably a few more than we currently have. We got a bunch of people like in, anyways. Um, Man, what kind of, like seriously, like this will probably encourage a lot of new scientists and like nanotechnology and we'll have amazing breakthroughs. It's like, cause people will actually be fascinated by truth again and we won't be so entertaining and, okay, anyways. Um, eyepiece, so the eyepiece equals father plus 48. The body tube is higher, but it's all about the same offset. So body tube, I was like checking this quick. 94 plus 36, okay, so overall 27 plus. Um, 42. Oh, Father plus Jehovah, 69. Okay, very famous three star. Well, that was cool. What else is there? Um, so arm parallels Jesus is plus two. Now you can you can link them together and see the harmony of the threes. Um, nose piece. Even nose piece works. Jim, my knees. The nose piece is on top of all the um, the lenses. Man, Father has just taken this one. Um, I mean, how can he not? Micro equals Father equals the scope. I mean, we already know where we're getting the gold. So, the, so first you have the eye piece, and then you have the nose piece. I'm thinking of my face. I'm like, I can attach an eye piece. I can attach a nose piece. But it's all fathers. Wow. So nose piece. Oh my gosh. Your eye does the same thing as the nose. Where you got two plus two is a single plus one. And the rest of the letters divide by three. Well, that was foreordained to get hooked up with the word piece. So that it's all very perfect. So you have the eye piece, then you have the nose piece. I, I'm gonna move this painting down here, just so this is like, you know, painted and all nice and pretty on camera for this video. Like there's, there's our paintings of the plus twos in bold, the letters that divide by three in blue, and the plus ones in gold. Well, Look what happens in nose piece. It's the exact same thing as eye piece. Like in order. The plus twos are the bookends of the word I and the word nose. And then your plus one is sitting right in from the back. This divides by three, just keeps the offset of threes going. And then I can just copy what I painted in piece. Done. We just solved the nose piece in the name of the father. So what does this come to? Oh my gosh, 24, it's plus 66. Like, these are like stunning threes, three offsets for the Trinity, as I'm saying. Okay, let's just keep, so wow, the father is on top of everything on the microscope. So we saw the eye piece, the body to the nose piece. Oh yeah, now you have the three different power levels. <laughs> well, father gets high power. 
<laughs> I'm switching to high power mode. And folks, if you're a scientist, this is like your golden moment. Like this is when you feel the power. It's like, let's turn it to high power. And you just feel the adrenaline. Okay, I'm serious. High power is father. And I jumped straight to that because I knew it was going to be a good father gem. You have low power. Then you have medium power. And then you have high power. You want the high power lens. Okay, so high power is flawlessly father. Wow, letters and strokes divide by three. So high, high power is just all like by itself is nine plus um, father plus 51. But I wanted to mention the fact that it's nine letters and 24 strokes, just like father is six letters. This is mind blowing. High power belongs to father. Because father, um, by way of review, in its strokes is six letters, 18 strokes. That is absolutely flawless with the nine strokes and the 24 strokes in high power because it's two thirds. Six is two thirds of nine, 18 is two thirds of 24. Father, high power. <laughs> if you want high power, you need to pray to the Father. So high power is the longest, <laughs> that's the lens that like shoves it right up next to the uh, stage clip. Or no, the, uh, what is it called? Where's the, um, a slide. Oh my gosh, a, a, a microscope slide. Well, I was, I was waiting for that word. The word slide is father. Plus one, what does it equal? It's father minus nine, okay? Very obvious plus one for father. I would add the word the in front because now you get the number of plus, this is embarrassing actually, the number of plus two, so it does the number of plus ones by two exactly. You have the two letters divided by three, you say the slide. And now you have a golden offset of 24s, or threes in the, Okay, father plus 24, the slide. And what's obvious about that is the S and the E in slide make 24, just like the bookends of father, and you're just scooping up the gold as fast as you can. Okay, so you put a slide on there to look at it with high power. Switch to the high power lens, kids. You will get your satisfaction. Okay, so high power is in the house and it did not disappoint. So the number of plus twos, once again, just like everything above, mind blowing. Just high power, just like all this stuff, outdoes the number plus ones by two, and the rest of the letters all divide by three. So let's do diligence and actually paint what we've done. There you go. High power, done. So I can't remember, this is getting good. And then what's interesting to me is that low power also parallels father, medium power, I can't remember, they all do. Okay, so father takes the glory for every lens in the classic microscope. All right, well, why not just give him the top? Why not just give him the bottom? Why not just give him all three? That's exactly what he's done. I, I'm just stating what it is. So a father owns low power, medium power, and high power. No questions asked. <laughs> Let's get this all on the board. So high power on the top, medium power. This is mind blowing and so awesome. So father takes the cake for all these. Uh, let's do a nice little accountant-like right justification for our satisfaction. Doesn't need to be exact, but I prefer to create as much precision as possible. That's a fair deal. So high power um, is father uh, plus 51, threes, okay? And medium power is father plus 84. It's so all offsets of threes, and then low power is um, father plus 69. There you have it. There you have it. Um, wow, but this gets really obvious because look at the number of the number of, of plus twos in low. It's in, wow, wow. Three plus twos, <laughs> three plus twos over the one plus one, and then a pair of letters divided by three pair of letters. Wow, now you're in love with low power. I mean, we all started on this planet with low power, and eventually we might get high power, depending on what God ordains. Um, that's beautiful. Low power, and then medium power it provides something different, where you have a plus one over the number of plus twos, gives you a plus one offset. Medium power. Man, now I'm curious whew, about the centers of these. Um, Magnif. Magnifi... Oh, I knew I had a good word coming to me. Magnification. Magnification is father. Um, plus one. 
But I'm curious about the center of these guys. I know pow equals love. Okay, pow equals love. Um, but just check it out. Um, there's a 39 there. Just to be diligent. There's Jehovah at the center of high power. Um, 83. Okay, let's just check out the center of some of these other ones. Um, oh man, I like 50 there. Flanked in 25. I see a lot of glory actually in. There's Jesus at the center of medium power. I see a lot of glory in medium power, like in terms of the threes flanking the um, central and there, and then 101. Okay. And then here you. Okay. Low power. There's the PO at the center, 31. All right. And then there's Christ at the center of low power. Okay. we That was glaring. What else? Stage clips. Oh, well, that's glaring because stage and clip are both father. So stage. The stage. <laughs> father is still on top. So stage is father. Arm is plus two. So you put arm together with other things to make threes. Stage. A clip is plus one. Stage clips is therefore a gorgeous father triune experience. Stage clip. Set. I like to put a space to remind you of the three plus ones. And this is so beautiful because S is plus one. P is plus one. S is plus one, right on that stage clips. Sah. You can feel the satisfaction on your lips. Stage clips, stage clips. Sah. Father, 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 plus one, plus one, plus one. In fact, it's very gorgeous. It always is when you get a triple plus one, 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 exactly. For, that's amazing. So stage clips, father, 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 father. The diaphragm. <laughs> of course it's called the diaphragm. Why wouldn't it be called the diaphragm? Um, the diaphragm. Um, that's amazing. Because remember how we were preaching earlier with the graduation cap that Father's on top and Christ was, and the, the, the bottom of the tassel is called the skirt equals Christ? Well, you heard it here first. Diaphragm equals Christ. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Diaphragm is Christ. Well, who's on top? Father. Everything up here was Father, plus one, plus one. It was glaring. Diaphragm equals Christ. Okay. And uh, then you have a light source, which is also Christ. Light parallels Christ, and then source maintains the offset. So diaphragm and light source are Christ. Base divides by three. In fact, it's three times three times three. Um, oh, yeah. And then you have your adjustment knobs. <laughs> The coarse adjustment and fine. Well, I'm noting that coarse and fine are both plus one for father. Oh, that's glaring because then you have coarse sandpaper, fine sandpaper. Oh, man, this is a big feast. So, I can do the obvious. And on the lips of men and women, they will say the coarse knob or the fine knob, but I will get the word adjustment in there, but I want to point out the very glaring. Because knob divides by three, in fact, it divides by sixes. This, this offsets father beautifully, the coarse knob, the fine knob, but let's take a look at the word adjustment now. Um, ah, another plus one for father. In fact, this is going to blow your mind. Look at, so fine adjustment, coarse adjustment, plus one, plus one. But look at the obviousness. You have the A and the E in order. But the most obvious thing I see is that bookends knit together to make a multiple of three in both of these words. No less multiple of six coming in. Man, it keeps going in adjustment. A J and an E hook up. An S and a T hook up in the center. Um, but you could just note the fact that this cluster bomb, wow, equals 73 to parallel to the center there. Okay, so that's easy, fine. Um, so you have adjustment knobs, okay. So fine adjustment. Okay, I think we, we hit the big ones on the microscope. Anything else? Um, oh yeah, then you have a compound microscope. You have a simple microscope. What's interesting to me is the word compound. That's amazing to me. Um, I remember you had a simple microscope. And yet a compound microscope. Um, and what's amazing, simple and compound both parallel um, Jesus. In fact, simple equals Jesus. Um, they are both flawless for Jesus. So this is where you have this, this gorgeous 
simple and compound for Jesus. You have the single plus two, three plus ones, and everything else divides by three, just like in Jesus. In fact, simple equals Jesus. Like, and then microscope gets the plus two, so this yields an overall plus one for Father. The simple microscope, the compound microscope, you get the idea. Um, any other? Oh, the objectives. The objectives. Oh man, and then the mirror, substage mirror. Mirror is plus one. This is crazy. An objective. It's an objective lens. Objective. Let's look at that. Objective is plus one for father. 